Hello, my name is Katrina Kennedy. I am a manager on the Labour Ward in UHK. And today I'm going to speak to you about um, instrumental births or assisted birth. Sometimes you do have a vision for your birth or a pathway or a birth plan that you would like your birth to take. But unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't go according to that plan. Sometimes you may need assistance for reasons that maybe mum gets tired or baby gets tired and the birth of your baby isn't imminent and you may need help. So there are two types of instruments. The vacuum being a little cup that's placed on your baby's head um, or a, a forceps, which is a spoon shaped instrument, a metal instrument that will cradle your baby's head. Uh, the decision to use either is based on the, a, a doctor who examines you and following his examination, depending on his findings, the decision to either use a vacuum or a forps, forceps will be used. So once the decision is made for an assisted delivery or an assisted birth, you, there will be extra people in the room. The paediatric team will be present, uh, an extra midwife will be present and the obstetric team. We'll keep you as well informed of everything that's going on, both yourself and your partner throughout it all. In, in preparation for an instrumental or assisted birth, it may be necessary to put your legs in the lithotomy position with your consent. This would entail lifting your legs together and placing them on stirrups that are all on the bed. When the doctor is placing the vacuum cup on the baby's head, it may be, feel a little bit uncomfortable. When they place the, baby, the cup on the baby's head, they will then place the traction on the baby. We will await the next contraction and then when the next contraction comes, you will push as you have been if you haven't been already, you will push with good maternal effort. The doctor will guide your baby down through the birth canal. It may take another contraction or two for the baby to birth. Same with the forceps. Uh, as I said, they're metal spoon shaped instruments. Um, they may feel also uncomfortable while the doctor is placing them to cradle your baby's head. And you may be asked to breathe to, through that, that one contraction while he's placing the instrument on your baby's head. When you feel, when the next contraction comes, the doctor will ask you to push as he assists your baby through the birth canal. So it's a two-way effort. You need good maternal effort as the doctor just guides your baby through the birth canal to birth. The baby will then be birthed uh, onto your abdomen or your tummy to allow for skin to skin. So from an instrumental or an assisted birth, be it a vacuum, there, as I said, the cup is placed on your baby's head. It might have a little mark or bruising on your baby's head. So just be mindful of that and the few days in hospital may be lesser handling and that the baby might have a little bit of a sore head. And from the forceps also, the baby might have little marks or bruising on its head too. So just minimal handling if you can, maybe just by mom and dad would be sufficient just to mind the little baby's head.